going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm going to be painting another mural today down at my local pub. Been going there for a couple of years so it's going to be pretty cool to put some artwork up down there. Going to be working on about five or six different walls so there should be a couple of videos coming out of this. Um, today we're going to be starting it with an outside wall on the entrance. Got some pretty cool artwork planned. So I'm going to pack the car and let's just jump straight on into it. Let's do it. So the pub came to me just to come up with a couple of designs, a couple of different murals for the venue and just to sort of try and brighten the place up a bit, add a little bit more atmosphere to what's currently there. There's some really nice outdoor areas, uh, really nice beer garden, but it's all very sort of plain um, and it hasn't changed in quite a long time. So they just sort of wanted to freshen the space up. It was a really cool opportunity. As I said, sort of at the start of the video, this is my local pub. Um, I've been going there for quite a long time, so it was pretty fun to be able to put some artwork up there um, and leave a little something of sort of what I do um, down there, basically. With this one, they were amazing to work with, super flexible. Um, they basically came with a completely open brief, which normally, can be quite a hit and miss even even quite often when a, a client says that you know that they're completely open and, and they're sort of down for whatever they have some sort of vague idea in their mind what they're looking for even if they don't quite know how to communicate that um, which can make it quite difficult when it's a completely open brief because you bring an artist in the artist has their own interpretation their own style and and they sort of go crazy and and that doesn't always align with is what that client um, sort of envisions in the back of their mind but with this one we sort of nailed it right out the gate I came up with this fun little design um, it's quite an old pub I'm not sure how long it's been there for, but it's quite a quite a traditional Aussie pub, basically. So I wanted to keep it um, Australian themed. I wanted to have some beer in there, but at the same time, uh, you, you know, you want to reflect a, a sort of um, a good drinking culture and, and not be too over the top, um, especially since it's family pub. But then on the Friday night. They have quite a big Friday night where there's like a lot of younger kids that come through who are sort of 18 years and older. So the sort of demographic was between 18 and 30 or 40. Um, so just just tried to sort of create some artwork that that was for everyone. Um, so yeah, just kept it nice, nice and bright, nice and colourful, um, really friendly, and yeah, just just really tried to to add to the space um, and and sort of freshen it up. I did this design on my iPad Pro. Um, I've had that for just about a month now and I'm loving it. It's really incredible. If you'd like to see a review of that, maybe leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to give you a bit of a walkthrough. But I find it a really powerful tool for something like creating concepts for a mural as, as opposed to back before I had the iPad Pro, I would do uh, pencil sketches and then eventually put it into Photoshop or Illustrator to color it but uh, that's that's quite a lengthy technique when you don't have a pen to work with you instead using a mouse and it's hard to create those sort of gradients that are going to rep like reflect and represent what an actual painting will look like so 
I'm, I'm really loving the iPad Pro. It's just super versatile and it, it can really give you the opportunity to show the client um, pretty much exactly how the final artwork is going to look as opposed to having a more digital looking artwork and then trying to sort of add effects and things like that to make it look more like a painting. It's just a much more accurate representation of, of what the client's going to get and it's it's already sort of paid for itself in that way. Um, I think I'll be able to get a lot more jobs just, just because I can show the client a much clearer representation of what they're going to be getting. Um, and it also doesn't leave any sort of confusion at the end if, if the actual artwork looks, you know, slightly different to what the concepts look. So definitely a powerful tool. Would highly recommend it to anyone if anyone is um, looking at getting one. They, they are quite expensive. I got the new model and I got the larger size. So it's, it's definitely quite a large investment. But, you know, if, if you're going to be looking at doing murals or if you're going to be looking at doing uh, designs for the web or whatever for clients uh, and it's for your business and it's it's definitely a worthwhile investment as I was saying earlier um, I think we're gonna be doing a couple of walls down at the pub so we've got this one which is on the entrance way there is also a beer garden with a much larger wall uh, and it also has some sort of interesting like pipes these vertical pipes that come down about half the way down the wall so I'm gonna have to try and figure out whether I'm gonna incorporate that into the artwork itself or whether I'm just going to paint over the pipes. Not exactly sure yet, we're gonna see what we can come up with. And then there's also, as I was mentioning, on Friday nights they have sort of like a club night where they have like an R&B room and you know, uh, a DJ and blah, blah, blah. So they're sort of talking about having some uh, UV, like glow in the dark illustrations um, so that during the day when they have like their regular dining service, it's just, you know, plain walls. And then at night when they have their more uh, club nights and whatever, these sort of glow in the dark artwork and illustrations will come to life, which is kind of cool. So it keeps the sort of space really versatile and, and it'll just change depending on, you know, what day and what time. So that's going to be a fun little project. I haven't worked with uh, glow in the dark paint before. Uh, going to keep the actual artwork itself quite simple. There won't be gradients and that sort of thing. It'll be more like line artwork. But yeah, that should be really fun. Uh, a sort of a whole new take on on the space, really. And aside from that, uh, just a bit of an update of what I've been doing. I've got my first solo show or my first proper solo show coming up in about two and a half weeks from this video. It's going to be at the Brunswick Street Gallery in Melbourne. So if anyone out there is from Melbourne, please come down and check it out. It'll be uh, opening on the 3rd of May, will be the opening night, and it will run for two weeks, um, nine to five every day. And yeah, I'm, I'm stoked, I really can't wait, super excited. I've got the majority of my artwork done for that. Um, I'm hoping to have about 10 to 12 or 13 pieces and I've got about two and a half paintings left to go. So, bit kind of, bit of crunch time going on right now trying to get everything done for that. Um, amongst trying to like get these murals and bits and pieces done, I sort of had some other mural work that was going ahead right up until the last second and that sort of got cancelled due to unforeseen circumstances, which is a bit of a shame, especially since we came up with some really cool artwork um, and it was a 10 meter wall, so that would have been fun. But that sort of fell through, so I mean, a bit of a blessing in disguise gives me more time to finish off my artwork for the show. So it's definitely not all bad. I think I'm just going to pretty much leave it there for this one. Um, if anyone has any questions regarding the mural itself or regarding techniques or setting up the mural or anything at all really, feel free to leave them down below. If anyone has any upcoming videos in particular that they would like to see, also feel free to, to leave them down below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, throw a like my way, throw a subscribe. I'm going to be that YouTuber guy because hey, why not? Um, and yeah, for now that's about it. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll let the tunes ride the rest of this one out.